Okay, let's simplify the fraction 8 48 and here's how we do it. We want to find another fraction that has the same value as 8 over 48. We call that equivalent fraction, but we want it to be in lowest terms. And to do that, what we need to do is find a common factor, something that goes into both 8 and 48. If you knew that 8 went into 48 six times, you could just say 8 divided by 8 is 1, and then 48 divided by 8 that's 6. 6 times 8 is 48. And you would have simplified the fraction 8 over 48 down to 1 over 6. And we can't reduce or simplify this any further. The other way you could do this is write the factors for 8 and 48 and find the greatest common factor. So when we look at the factors for 8 and 48, we see the greatest common factor is 8 right here. So let's move these over here. And now we're really doing the same thing we did before. 8 divided by 8, that's 1. And 48 divided by 8, that's 6. And again, we end up with 1, 6. So we've simplified the fraction 8 48 down to 1, 6. These are equivalent. If you divide 8 by 48 and 1 by 6, you'll get the same number. It's just this has been reduced or simplified down to 1, 6. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.